pick it up, they stay alive, fuckers! Sarah! Here, take the gun stick and kill that fussy mama! <laughs> Let it go, Mario! Don't worry, Smooth. I'll take it from you. Thanks, man. <laughs> huh. Looking for these, dickhead? You ever seen a one-inch punch? Well, this is what happens. She's mine, mate! You've got no chance at all! That's right. I'm having Mario's baby! 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 <laughs> Wake up, dickhead! Can't believe Melissa's gonna marry Mario. Yeah, she's a skank. Best five to the twins. Come in. Mark here. Um, are you guys far from Putney? We've got a job going at the florist. Oh. Not the fucking florist, no way. Sorry, base, we're nowhere near the florist. None of the drivers want to go near the florist, bro. What do you expect with that fucking backdoor bandit Oliver working there? That little prick. Fancy asking for gay leave. This country's fucked. Keith. If you don't give me leave to marry Fernando, then I will quit. Do what you have to do, Darren. My name is fucking Oliver. Good on you, mate. He was filthy when he found out Mario and Melissa got time off. Melissa is pregnant. She's entitled to leave, isn't she? No wonder she's pregnant. She's like the merry-go-round, mate. Everybody ridden it. I can't believe we're in Vegas. Looks like a pokies at the airport. I hate pokies, man. I'm Amanda Doyle, the new regional manager of Swift and Shift. The courier business should be simple, really. You, the client, phones our call centre and tells us what's going where. The radio room should organise a competent driver to take your package from A to B on time. It seems so simple. So why does Keith's depot always manage to stuff it up? Hello, Swift and uh, yes, Jonathan, but I think the reason the numbers are down is because of the world uh, economy, you know, the, uh, the recession. Keith, all our other depots are doing better than Hashfield. I gave you 12 months to improve your depot's performance. Remember? Well, I think safety has improved enormously. So you still got that problem with the fork? Keith, we want to see some serious improvement over there. Or you might want to think about looking for a new job. Everyone gather round, big announcement. Uh, good news, people. Because you're all so much cheaper than Australian workers, Swift and Shift is going to extend all your contracts. Yeah, yeah, all right, shut up, piss off, go back to work, all right. OK. Uh, OK, that's done, Amanda. Now, tell me, when do you think head office is going to shut down the Hashfield depot? Well, Keith's numbers are down, and he does have a gay employee claiming vilification. I think Keith might be about to get a kick in the teeth. <laughs> oh, look, I'll call you back, Damien. OK, bye. Why is this idiot driving so slowly? Oh, come on, you dickhead. Stupid lady, I can't help one of them. Don't take me. Going slow enough? What's your problem, you coconut? Don't they have cars in coconut land? Have some chicken, Lola. Oh, oh, what is that? Have 
I'm digging, I die! I am your boss, you fuckwit! Yes, Amanda. One of your coconut drivers just threw a chicken drumstick at me. How can you be sure it's one of my drivers? I could tell by the smell. And while we're discussing stuff, Keith, I should tell you I got a letter of resignation from Oliver Vlachik. There are some allegations of sexual vilification. Amanda, he asked for time off for a gay wedding. I said no. He quit. End of story. Well, then why did you give time off to Mario Gauchi and Melissa Shembri? I heard they were getting married. Piss off, George. Well, Melissa's pregnant. Anyway, their leave forms didn't say they were getting married. So you know they've lied, but you've given them the time off anyway. Uh, sorry, Amanda, you're breaking up. I'll have to call you back. Kate! Bitch. Keith, bro. Shit, Kev. Sorry, bro. Hey. Agro just turned up with some lobsters and some dull and stubbies. Oh, how cool, we gotta get a photo. Come on. <laughs> I'll put a bitch on the phone, is that all right? Yeah. Suck your gut in a bit, you look a bit fat from the baby. I can't. So cool. That's from the film. It's awesome. Oh, I think you better pull over. <laughs> How come you got morning sickness? It's not the morning. <laughs> so that slimy little Mario's put a little wog in the oven, has he? Yeah, bro. He finally banged her when we all went to the snow, eh? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, it all turns to shit when they pop those puppies out. The fun bags turn to jelly. They're no fun anymore, and their ass ends up down behind their knees. Hey, Agro bro, bro, how many times have you been married? Well, three. Well, nine, if you count those trips to Thailand. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh shit. not the Darwin stabbies! I'm going straight to hell. Is this it? I think so. Did you notice this hotel looks kind of like a big dick from the outside? A big what? A big dick. Where's the mini bar? I need a shower. Where's the mini bar? Well, it's not going to be in the drawer. Is, is the mini bar in the toilet? It might be, maybe it's hidden. What kind of shit hotel does not have a mini bar, mate? <laughs> they just designed this so you go downstairs and do gambling. I'm not gambling, mate. It killed my old man and I'm not doing it. Shut up! Hey, you, you want to come to bed? No. Actually, I've got an idea of something we could do that's really good. You'll love it. This ain't a wild, wild west. It's a cheapest attraction. Oh, uh, you can't do it. Yes. He's gone, mate. Look, how was I supposed to know you couldn't shoot because you're up in the duff? Look, can we do something romantic now? Like what? For 70 bucks. We're just doing laps of a Blue Haven pool. Hey, listen, this is, this is meant to be romantic, okay? This has got more cheese than bloody Mickey Mouse's, you know, stash at home. You wouldn't know romance if it came hit you in the face. This is like Ashfield Pool, except without the Lebos. It's meant to be romantic. Look, I'm not, I spend money, don't worry, I'm not a tight ass, but that was the most shittest, boringest tour I've ever done. You know, fine, I mean... Fine, fine. Was... You choose something to do, okay? No worries, you choose. All the cowboys gone. She's pregnant, so she can't, but I can't. Oh. Well, look up to the sky for me. Look, can we do something romantic now? Like what? Come on, what does that remind you of? Huh? Oh! That reminds me of when the kid, like, when it all happened. Hey, 
look, doesn't that look like Dave? <laughs> a little Smurf. Smurf Elvis. <laughs> Are you Maltese? No, not at all, I'm Spanish. Spanish? Spanish. I swear, you look, you had a dead ring off for this guy we named David. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on, this is beautiful. This view is even more boring and shit than that stupid boat trip we just took. It's the worst, mate. But we're on the Eiffel Tower. It's meant to be a replica. It's meant to be romantic. What's wrong with you? This is about as close to Paris as, like, my left butt cheek, mate. Nowhere near it. Oh, no, I think, I think we should go back to the room. I, I think I'm going to be sick. If you keep heaving like that, the baby's going to come out the front. Oh, get fucked. <sighs> Who's calling? Who is it? Hello. Darling, why didn't you call me? Did you make it there OK? Mum... Can I, can I call you later? Babe, you sound like you're sitting on the toilet. Have you got diarrhoea? Oh, my God, oh, my God. I bet you've got swine flu. Do you have swine flu? It's not swine flu. Ma look, I'll talk to you later. Hey, can you close the door? I just bought a film. It was 15 bucks American, so at that price, I don't want to miss a thing. <laughs> Congratulations and good luck. Listen, can you all get back to bloody work, please? Excuse me. I'll bet Keith, don't you want to send the happy couple a message? Oh, yes. When you've finished fucking your way around America, get your asses back here to work. The message isn't for them. It's for Oliver and his boyfriend. You mean Darren, who used to sit here? I can't believe he can't remember my name after three years. I can't believe they haven't shown up yet. I don't know why you use Swift and Shift anyway. They're so bloody useless. Darling, they are so cheap. We're saving lots of money. Please swipe to Sole. Come on, bro. Sole here. I've got a job going to Putney, bro. No, no way am I making delivery to that shitty funny gay man. No, it's shitty funny gay man. Oh, he won't take the job, bro. All right, I'll try Captain Jihad. Base three and a half to Abdul. Come in, mate. Here, yeah, bro. Oi, listen. I need you to take an extra job down in Putney. Hold on, David. Excuse me. This is for Bureau of Meteorology. Is that you? Yeah, that's us. What's meteorology? Are you looking for meteors? Are you serious? Abdul, what the fuck are you doing, mate? You gonna take the job or what? Where's it going? I already told you, mate. Pat me. Listen, no way I'm going to them. I hate that dirty son of a bitch. I hope God brings a meteor to them. What is going on? None of the fucking drivers want to go to the florist anymore. Oh, mate, I hate that po that florist as much as anybody. But he's a client, OK? Jim? Jim? You call Swam? You organise a bloody driver, all right? Um, hello, customer service. Renzo speaking. Hello, can I speak to the manager? I have a complaint. Keith, I'm really sorry to disturb you, but I've got the florist on line one. Operations manager, Keith Warren speaking. I have some wedding suit come from the shop, but they told me that your man hasn't picked them up. What's going on here? And Keith? Don't give us any bullshit. I know all of your little tricks over there. Don't you laugh, Rince? <laughs> hey, you bloody perverts! Get back to fucking work! Jim, you'd better have a driver organised for that florist job. Yeah, it's all organised. We're just sending Mario a wedding message, Keith. Shit, you know none of the drivers will touch this puffy florist with a ten-foot pole. I don't know what we're going to do. Get Agro to do it. He owes you a favour, doesn't he? Agro, I need to cash you that favour you owe me, mate. Jimmy, 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 can't understand a word you're saying, mate. Why don't you text me what you're on about and I'll get back to you. Hello. Are you Louis Lox Habib? 
Like, listen, like, did you get those powder smokes from me or what? She's apples. They're right here in the back of the truck. I'm down here at the depot right now, so if you get yourself down here soon, we could do the business. Jonathan, I was the one who made the outsourcing work. So why are you still supporting Keith Warren? His depot has been an embarrassment all year. Remember that incident with the stripper? <gasps> I'm just going to wait up there, OK? You just come outside when you're ready to get into it. Is that a Viagra tablet? No. Yes. And look at this. A gay employee has made allegations that he was vilified before he quit. Leave application for a gay wedding. I'm going to go with Keith on this one. I can't see any vilification here. Oh, you haven't even been to that depot. Trust me, the staff are all sexist, <laughs> racist, crass, <laughs> and homophobic. It's oh, going a bit far. How can a whole depot be homophobic? <laughs> Oh, bro, that's just stupid. They're making Nagro use the truck to pick up something for those. Oh, darling. Hey, how long is this going to take to get there? Melissa, we're going to Area 51, like where the UFOs are. It's like the best tour you can do. UFOs, man, UFOs. There's nothing out here. You know, Melissa, you're just like getting that I've been in the car too long syndrome. What I suggest. We just pull over, pretend the kids are asleep, and have a stress buster. What do you think? I think I'm gonna throw up. Huh. I just got a message from the boys in dispatch. Yeah, what's it say? Oh, happy wedding, Mario. Just oh. remember, I've been there first. <laughs> Give it to her, guys. Give it to her. Give it to her. I, I deleted it. You gonna do another vomit? <sighs> Who knows? See that sign back there? Extraterrestrial highway. That means we're getting close to where the UFOs are, man. There's no such thing. Oh, no such thing. What about all the people that have been abducted? What about the fake moon landing? You don't know none of this. Look at that, mate! It's a, it's a shop that used to have stuff like to do with aliens and that. How good's that? Pictures, see, it's all real, mate. Looks fake to me. The alien necklace. Would look, gonna wear that. that would look good on you, man. Oh, please. You want one? No. I'm definitely gonna get this hat. Another hat. <laughs> you brought 20 hats with you. <laughs> My feet hurt, and that fucking toilet back there grossed me out. I'm gonna have nightmares about that toilet. Look. The old bag at the shop said, like, just on the other side of the hill is like, that's Area 51 over there. And the UFOs, they fly around here. This is the spot where you see them. I, I, are you completely fucked in the head? I mean, look, look how steep it is. I cannot walk up there. I'm fucking pregnant. Walking up hills is good for pregnant. I seen it on a documentary. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I want my kid to have the right to see a UFO. Get your pregnant ass up that hill. <laughs> What's bag talking about? There's no base down there. Let me guess. You saw absolutely nothing. <laughs> what a waste of fucking time. Hey, I never said I seen nothing, all right? Because if I seen it, I wouldn't tell you. You saw nothing. You know, when I was on top of that hill, I seen a speck move in a bit of a zigzag formation. I'm definitely sure it probably was a UFO. You're full of shit. You want to stop and, like, have a look what's inside there? Could be good. I mean, they went to a lot of trouble to make that fake alien. Can we go 
go gambling or something? Gambling now? I told you. My old man, he died because of gambling. And you have to bring it up. I'm not going gambler, mate. Why in the fuck did you bring me to Vegas then when it's the gambling capital of the world? I just came to shoot some guns, maybe see a UFO, and marry you. But the way it's going, two out of three is just going to have to do me. Sorry, kid, but she's been a bitch. Ah, how you lads, Habib? I'm back at base. Look, I thought like the pallet of smokes was here. What's going on, you little? Nah, mate, those fags, uh, they're here with me and Bucky. I'm not. Oh, look, I came here for nothing. All right, look, when can I get them off you then? Well, mate, if you want the fags, you're gonna have to come down to Putney and get them yourself. Uh, listen, look, nah. I swear, look, today's no good luck. What about tomorrow? All right, look, I need them, I swear to God. Sweet, mate, they're not going anywhere. Everything all right, ladies? Amanda Doyle, regional manager speaking. Hello, it's Oliver Blanchard here. I'm just letting you know that myself and my partner will be suing you, Keith, and the whole bloody company. Well, well hold on a minute. Why? Ever since I told Keith that I was getting married, Swift and Shift have been both threatening and harassing both me and my fiance. Look, if, if you want to sue us, that's your prerogative. But how about this? What if we were to sack Keith Warren? publicly apologise and pay for your upcoming wedding. Would that perhaps make up for some of this hurt you've been caused? They said they'll sack Keith, apologise and pay for the wedding if we don't sue them. That's good, but I have another thing we should make them do. Okay, quiet everybody. Now apparently due to our very poor attitudes, threats and vilification of a former gay staff member, you are all required to attend Oliver and Fernando's wedding. Oh, fucking bullshit! No! No! no, no, no that's gay! Renzo, no. tell all the drivers they have to attend or they get the sack. Now listen. I've been given two weeks' notice. What? what? Renzo will be in charge until they find a replacement. Oh, Renzo. Shit. What? Renzo. What the fuck? What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Could be down, Kim. I'm AJ, the marriage celebrant from Celebrants Are Us. Oh, hey, where's the free piss? Company funds for a gay wedding? This is fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, yeah.